A Cree Indian prophecy states, when the earth has been ravaged and the animals are dying, a tribe of people from all races, creeds and colors will put their faith in deeds, not words, to make the land green again. Millions of people are awakening. Many are answering the call, and these rainbow warriors are now spreading a message of unity across the globe. A new heart-based culture is starting to reveal itself. The shift has begun. Our ancestors understood our symbiotic relationship to nature and the elements and foresaw the collapse of an unsustainable world. The voice of the collective is our guide and storyteller, and the world's wisdom keepers share their sacred transmissions. It is time to remember who you are, why you are here, at this time of the greatest change ever. We've tried everything possible and none of it has worked. Therefore, we must try the impossible. The Kundalini of the Earth now is, is, is emitting the new cycle, the new vibration. This three-dimensional time is so quickly passing. It is now up to you. The ones who are awakening, the ones who will help to create the new Earth the ones who will expand their consciousness. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. We have to, as embodied beings, step to the next level of collective consciousness. How many of us have really been messed up by being told, big boys don't cry? The grandmothers now that must be the ones that take these children and hold their hand and walk them over the bridge. She speaks through the heart. She speaks through our bones and our flesh. And she cries, I am. I am that I am. You're witnessing the birth of new energy and new consciousness. You're hearing the call of the elders and the indigenous ones accept your own sovereignty, to accept your own independence. How do you live a divine life and be human at the same time? Let the mind expand and open. When they do these ceremonies, they're dreaming a new world. Continuing to hold the dream and the vision of the new earth, a new earth that is coming. As I think and speak and act and intend, so shall it be. Wow. We all need to start collectively dreaming of paradise. And as we dream, we find the visions to dream ourselves into a much more awakened state of being. It's time to wake up and realize uh, whether you're the dreamer or the dreamed. Follow your heart. No truth. Be truth. So what will you dream tonight? And will you act on it tomorrow? Our future is in your hands. <laughs>